Hey everyone, I hope you are doing good and staying safe. Welcome to Simply Coach YouTube channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss one of the most commonly asked SQL query during job interviews as well as campus placements that is how to find the nth highest salary in SQL. Now there are many ways to find the answer to this query but in today's session we are going to discuss the easiest and the most simplest way to find the nth highest salary in SQL. More on that soon but before we get started if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado let's get started with today's topic. Let us jump into MySQL Workbench for execution and understand how to find the nth highest salary in SQL. As you can see MySQL Workbench has started. Now in order to find the nth highest salary we need an employee table and for that I am going to consider the new employees table here. So let me just display the records that are present in the table and for that I will use the select statement and the query is followed as select star from new employees. So let me just display the results. So as you can see the new employees table has various columns such as employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, hiring date, salary, manager ID and department. So firstly before discussing how to find the highest salary let us see how to find the maximum salary. Now to find the maximum salary in SQL you can simply use the uh, aggregate function max to find the highest salary in SQL. So the following query would be select max salary from the table that is new employees. So let me just display the results. So as you can see it is showing as 93,000 which is the highest salary in our table. Now next to find the second highest salary in the above table we'll use the concept of subquery which means that firstly we'll find the highest salary in the table and then we'll nest that query to a subquery to find the second highest salary in SQL. So the query would basically be as now I'll put this as a subquery here and I'll write the outermost query now that is select salary from the table that is new employees where salary is less than this inner query or the sub query. So let us just execute this query and see the output. Now it will display all the salaries that are greater that is less than the uh, sub query that we have written here that is the maximum salary which is 93,000. Now that is not the answer that we want or the results that we want. Now we want the maximum salary which is less than the 93,000. So I am going to take the max function again here. So basically how this query works is the firstly the inner query gets executed which is the maximum salary that is 93,000. Next the outer query executes that is it will select the maximum salary from the new employee table which is less than the 93,000. So let me just display the results. So as you can see it is showing as 90,000 as the second highest salary. So let us just verify whether it is correct or not. Uh, I'll use the select statement again select star from new employees. We'll use the order by order by function, order by salary, and I'll display the values in descending order. That means from highest to lowest. So in this way, we can find the uh, highest salary and the corresponding salaries that are less than the highest salary. So as you can clearly see that we have ninety three thousand as our highest salary, and the next salary as ninety thousand as our next second highest salary. Now till now it is fine. Now. Let's say if you are asked to find the 5th highest salary or let's say 20th highest salary or basically nth highest salary from this table. Now you can't keep on adding subqueries to this already uh, written query right. It will become time consuming and it becomes complex as well. Now in general there are two ways to find the nth highest salary. The first one is using the limit clause and the second one is using uh, the dense rank function which is an inbuilt function provided by SQL which we are going to discuss about in a while. So firstly let us discuss about the uh, limit clause and how we'll use the limit clause to find the nth highest salary here. So firstly let us understand the syntax here. Now the syntax is followed as select column list from table name order by expression limit n minus 1 comma 1. 
So let me just explain the syntax here. Now after the select statement, you will have to mention all the columns that you want to fetch in your resultant table from the table name order by expression, which is this basically the column name you have to specify here and you're using the limit keyword. And after that, we have two parameters here that is n minus one comma one. Now in the syntax, the limit n minus one comma one clause returns one row that starts after the row n. Now, in other words, if I have to define this, the first parameter that is n minus one defines after how many rows it will start fetching the records in our resultant set. And the second parameter will uh, basically return the number of rows in that table. So let me just explain this with an example. So select. Now I'll use the distinct keyword here, which will basically remove all the uh, anomalies or the repeated values in our table. So distinct salary from table name that is new employees order by salary limit. Now let's say if I want to find the 10th highest salary in our table. So now our n becomes 10. So the value here, it will be n minus one. So 10 minus one is basically nine comma one. Now what this query basically does is it will return one record after the first nine rows, that is basically the 10th row, which is the query that we want. That is to find the 10th highest salary. So let me just execute this statement. Okay. There is an error. So yes, uh, the query is returning me as 24,000, which is the 10th highest salary here. Now, similarly, if you want to find the, let's say uh, 24th highest salary, I'll just change the value into 24. So, uh, sorry. Uh, so basically if you wanted to find the 24th highest salary, you will have to mention 23 here. That is N minus one, right? So let us find the output. So the next highest salary is 48,000. Uh, so I forgot to mention the descending keyword here. That is why it is showing me the uh, highest value. So if I run this query again, so the 24th highest salary here is 29,900. So in this way, you can basically use the limit clause to find the nth highest salary. Now let's say if I want to fetch the complete details of that employee who's having the 24th highest salary, I'll simply use a subquery here. So I'll put this query as a subquery and I'll write another outer query using the select statement. Select star from new employees where salary is equals to the inner query. So let me just execute this query and we'll see the output. So now it will display the complete uh, details of the employee, uh, their employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, their salary, manager ID, department and etc. So in this way, if you want to fetch the complete details as well, you can use this subquery here. Now let's say if you are asked to find the first five highest salaries in the table, then the parameter here will be changed. Now here our n value becomes one. So the n minus one becomes zero. Now, and we want to fetch the first five records from the table. So we'll mention five as our second parameter, which will, which will basically display the first five records. So let me just display and uh, execute this statement. So as you can see, it will display the first five highest salaries starting from 93,000, 90,000, next 88,000, 83,000 and next 82,000. Now, if you have to observe this query carefully, it is somewhat similar to that of the top function we use. Now, since top function is not applicable in MySQL, we are using the limit clause here. Now, if you're working on different other databases like SQL Server or MongoDB or Oracle, you can use the top function. Now, the format uh, will remain the same. Only the syntax will uh, change with the use of top keyword. So in this way, you can use the limit uh, clause to find the nth highest salary. Let us not discuss the second way that is using the dense rank function. Now MySQL dense rank function is an ill-bin function which is used to return sequential numbers starting from one based on the ordering of rows imposed by the order by clause. Now when you have two records with the same data set, then it will give the same rank to the both rows. So firstly, let us understand the syntax here. The syntax is followed as select column list. These are basically the, all the columns that you want to fetch in your resultant table. 
comma dense rank is the keyword we use here over and inside the parenthesis we are writing the order by uh, clause and we'll mention the expression as and we'll give a alias name to this uh, dense rank function from the table name. So now basically uh, the function is always used with over clause here which will always assign rank on basis of the order by clause and the rank is also assigned to the rows in a sequential manner that is the rank the assignment of rank to this rows will always start from one and the next value will be one greater than the previous rank assigned. So let us understand this with an example. Now let's say I'm uh, I'll use the select clause here and I want to display the employee ID the first name of the employee, last name, comma salary, and next I'll mention the dense dense rank keyword over, and inside the brackets use the order by clause and mention the uh, expression. Now we want to uh, specify the condition here which is basically on the salary, right? We want to find the nth highest salary here. So we'll specify the salary here as uh, let's give an alias name, let's say rank salary from the table that is new employee. So let us execute this statement and we'll see the output. So as you can see, it will display the employee ID, the first name, last name, salary, and the rank of the salary. Now, since we haven't given any uh, a keyword here for descending and ascending, it is showing in the ascending order by default. So let me just uh, write the descending keyword by using the DESC. So let us now display this. As you can clearly see, it will display the records from highest to the lowest value and the rank is aside accordingly. Now for the salary 93,000, it is giving rank as one and for 90,002, for 88,003 and so on. Now, if you look here, like the, uh, employee Adam Fripp who's having 82,000 as salary and similarly John Chen who's also having 82,000 salary and the rank is assigned as 5 which is same. Now if you carefully look here it will assign rank based on the value and not on the number. So even if the uh, values are repeated it will assign the same rank to that value. So I hope you understood how to use the dense rank function here. Now let's say to find the nth highest salary, we'll have to use a subquery here. Now basically I'll keep this as a subquery here and I'll use another select statement. So basically I want to again display uh, the uh, employee ID, first name, last name and salary in a resultant table. So I'll just copy this and keep it as an outer query from this uh, table right so and I'll mention a where condition where rank salary is equals to now you can mention the nth highest salary now whatever you want to display you can mention this here now let's say if I want to find the uh, 32nd highest salary I'll just mention the rank salary equals to 32 so let us now execute this statement and we'll see the output now it will show me an error basically here which says every derived table must have its own alias name so we have not given uh, any a specific alias name to our table here. So let us just give a alias name, let's say as E, or you can take EMP or anything as per your choice, right? So let me just display this and we'll see the output. So as you can see the 30, what is that? 30 second highest salary uh, has been assigned to the employee Hazel fill tanker whose salary is 22,000. So let's just check whether it is correct or not. Uh, I'll just copy this dense rank uh, select statement again. So let's just scroll down and as you can see uh, 32 which is the rank here has been assigned to the employee Hazel fill tanker whose salary is 22,000. So which is correct and you have successfully executed query in this case. Now similarly if you want to find another uh, employee salary let's say if you want to find 18 16th highest salary we'll take this and we'll employ we'll execute the statement and it is showing me as the 48,000 which is the 16th highest salary and the employee id is 105 the employee name is david austin 
And that brings us to the end of today's session, guys. I hope you understood how to find the nth highest salary using the limit as well as the dense rank function here. So next time, if any interviewer or someone asks how to find the nth highest salary, I hope you will answer that question. Thank you for watching the video, guys. I hope you found this tutorial useful and helpful. And if you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below, and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.